In this video, I wanna share with you three ways that will allow you to generate more sales calls from your YouTube channel. So if you're a coach, consultant, agency owner, this is definitely gonna be helpful. Let's go into the first way. And the first way is the most obvious way because this is where you literally just provide a calendar booking link in your YouTube description box and you allow people to book. Now the key here is you wanna be able to reference it in the video itself because if you just leave the calendar link in the description box, but you never reference it, people might not even realize that there is an option to book a call. So in your video itself, say it, tell people that you have in fact some sort of a program or that you have some sort of way that you could help them beyond just talking in a video and that they should book a call, right? If you even uh, share specific client testimonials or client wins in the video to give them more incentive and encouragement that, hey, yeah, clients do really, really great with me, that'll help you as well. Now, do you wanna do this in every single video? Maybe not. If you do it every single video, you might come across as kind of annoying, to be honest. So I would think about the videos where you're adding a ton of value, like dense, dense value. If you look at my channel, for example, I have a lot of how-to videos that are very technical in nature where I give like, here is how to optimize your LinkedIn profile, or here is how to set up an automation, or something that I think because people are probably looking for this type of content, they're probably even searching in YouTube specifically how to do this thing, pretty clear that they are probably of a higher degree of qualification they are a good fit for me. They're looking for marketing assistance. So in that case, it makes more sense for me to maybe say, hey, if you're looking for actual marketing uh, consultations, I can probably help you with that. If you have videos that are a bit like fluffier or maybe just like very broad and generic, uh, I would probably recommend don't have a, a specific call to action of, I'm like, hey, jump on a call with me. I can help you out. Uh, save that for the others with more value. That being said, if you wanna just leave the calendar booking link in every video, you can still do that. I'm more talking about like, if you're specifically shouting out in your actual video itself, booking of a call, because yeah, you don't wanna overdo it. You just kind of piss off your audience. One more thing that you can do as well is in your comment section, leave a comment that says, hey, if you are interested in working with me, just book a call here and then pin that comment to the top. This is another way that you can just gain a bit more visibility because sometimes people don't really look at your description box, but they do look at your comment section. So that's another way that you can hopefully just get more visibility and opt-ins to your calendar booking link. Um, so that's method number one. Now, method number two is your email list. So if you actually are providing some sort of lead magnet in your YouTube video, so in the description box, maybe you're saying, hey, I have this free guide or I have this free masterclass or webinar or checklist, something that your audience needs to essentially opt in on after they've watched your video. So they would need to go to your website, maybe give you their email, and then they would get this thing in return. And then now you actually have an email list of some of your followers. So in this email list, you can then obviously send additional nurture campaigns, additional nurture drips where you're able to say, hey, I have these offers, I have these products. Do you wanna jump on a call, right? But I will say, just like with your YouTube videos, you don't want all of your email nurtures to be salesy. You would still prefer to have most of your email nurture be more value-driven, giving a value, teaching people, educating people. Because just like how if your YouTube channel was 100% pitching all the time, it would get real annoying, same thing happens in your email list. So for me, I try to make it so that I have a 70-30 ratio. Most of the time, I'm trying to provide insight. Sometimes it'll be more about providing of an offer, saying, hey, I actually do have this program and here are some of our clients. They've had some pretty decent results. So if you're curious about experiencing something similar, then let's have a bit of a conversation, right? And we've certainly been able to close a ton of clients like that by just dripping value, dripping value, dripping value, and then on occasion, just going for that right hook. That's that Gary V saying, right? Jab, 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 right hook. You warm them up with valuable content, then you go for the kill with that right hook. It's the same premise with email. On that note, if you do wanna be able to run this particular strategy, you should probably in your videos talk about the lead magnet as well, because if you don't talk about your lead magnet, people might just never realize that it exists, right? Once again, people don't always click expand in the description box. They don't always 
uh, see that you have all of these additional checklists or webinars that you're potentially offering. So hype it up in your videos, talk about why it's so valuable and helpful, get them to actually go and find the link in your description box so that they click in, give your email, and then you obviously have more opportunity to then remarket to them later with your campaigns and hopefully generate more booked calls. Now, finally, we move on to, I think the strategy, which is totally underutilized by 99% of YouTubers. Most people don't even realize that this is a thing, but you go on social media and you actually have back and forth DMs to book people into calls. Now, consistently in my YouTube videos, I'm telling people, hey, follow me on Instagram, follow me on LinkedIn, send me a DM, connect with me, right? And you'd be surprised at how many people actually do do that, right? Um, even right now, you're seeing my LinkedIn profile. Sebastian, in this example, he say, hey, I love your YouTube videos. I've been binging them. Now, would I prefer if instead of him just DMing me here that he just booked a call? Yes, of course, that would have saved me a lot of effort. But a lot of people are unwilling to do that because it's a bigger commitment, right? And sometimes they don't necessarily trust you quite enough yet. They would prefer to just have a little bit of a conversation so that they feel totally comfortable before they book. So if that's the buyer journey that your customers prefer, then why would we get in their way? Let's have a dialogue, make sure that any of their objections are overcome. And once everything seems in order, then we can just suggest in the DMs, whether it be on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, hey, let's jump on a call. It seems like we can help. And at this point, they've seen so many of our videos and they've now had a personal conversation with us. Why wouldn't they book a call? And the reason why I think it's so important for you to realize this is possible is because if you don't do this, you're probably missing out on half of the total calls that you could book. And I don't say that as an exaggeration, truly half because almost half of the total meetings that we were booking on YouTube did not just come from someone who booked totally on their own, right? Through a calendar booking link. Half of them actually did in fact come from a social media conversation, which is wild. I would have never guessed this when I first began my YouTube journey. I would have just assumed that most people just book because they see a link on my YouTube channel. But it really boggled my mind, the amount of people who did need in fact this further conversation on social before they were able to convert into an actual sales call. So this might feel like a lot of work. Now you're needing to spend additional time in the DMs. Uh, for me, I do have in fact uh, an appointment setting team that manages my DMs for me. And that makes my life quite a lot easier. At first, you might not be doing this. You might need to just be willing to spend an hour every day in the DMs yourself. But that's a small price to pay if it means that you could potentially double your total uh, pipeline from YouTube. So put in the work, close the deals, generate more cash flow, and when you actually can justify hiring an appointment setter who can take the DMs and your messaging management off your plate, then you can do so. And if you're curious about how to do that, I have a video right here or right here, somewhere um, on either side of me, that goes deeper into how to hire and train an appointment setter. Um, but it's really critical that you do manage to squeeze every drop out of that YouTube bucket and not just rely on people booking all on their own because guess what? A lot of people just don't wanna do that, all right? So those are a couple ways that you could book more sales calls with YouTube. Hopefully this was helpful and I will see you next time. Cheers.